<laughs> you know what would be crazy is if someone like had a paramotor and they just happened to be like flying and they just like went right through this. Here. You think it'd fit? No. I don't think so either. just about conquered the Moki Dugway. So we're on the way to Moab right now, and the hope for Moab is if you missed an episode right after the Icarus race, I tried to fly through the Corona Arch and failed because it was way too turbulent and too late in the day to do. But I'm hoping to get that flight in. I don't know what else, we'll see where the adventure goes. Um, hopefully we'll get some good weather tomorrow, but that is the goal. So I'm gonna hop back in the van mobile I think we'll get a little bit further. We'll probably grab some lunch, uh, either pull over and picnic, or we'll go somewhere. We'll see. It's all in the van life. Just out here chilling, soaking up this radical view. You guys see that? It's freaking awesome. Check it out. We made it to our campsite for tonight. This one took a little bit of searching. Uh, we're in the middle of like Moab. Behind me, up the river here, is the um, Corona Arch, which is a pretty famous arch, and it's actually one that you can legally fly through. I'm hoping to launch from here and just kind of cruise around these rocks and eventually go over to the Corona Arch. And if the conditions are right, we'll swing through it a couple times. Speaking of the conditions, I'm really stoked because I feel like it's gonna come down to like virtually nothing. Now Moab, I've heard, can be pretty unpredictable. There's so much vertical terrain here that any bit of wind creates pretty gnarly turbulence. So I'm hoping that the wind stays minimal. We got a nice open launch site. We'll go out, cruise around, hopefully hit the arch. Well, not hit it, but like, you know, go through it. And uh, it should be a good time. deep in that one. Sad, it. <laughs> uh, a little bit sketchy. I think we have successfully gotten everyone out of their campers here. All right, I'm gonna start heading up the river here. Still feeling out the air a little bit. We'll see how she rides. Dang, this is amazing. I'm also flying a little cautiously because of how unforgiving this terrain is. And this ain't no New Jersey farm fields and freshly mowed park grass. Be on your toes out here. It's a little bit warbly over here, not too extreme. Oh, damn. I think I just spot spotted the arch. I've never seen it from the air, obviously, um, but I think I see it. 
it's a little secluded, tucked away. There's the arch down there. Looking fine and dandy. We'll feel it out a little bit. If it doesn't feel right, I'll uh, hold off and see if it gets smoother as the sun sets. It is down in a hole, so I'll have to see. I'm not feeling too bad down here. It feels pretty smooth. Give her a quick couple laps just to make sure. I'm feeling confident. Let's give her a shot this way. Not so bad at all. <laughs> we'll get one going through the other direction. I think the lighting was better on the first one. one last go and then I think we'll get out of here give these hikers some peace and quiet <laughs> I think we'll continue down the river uh, a little bit lower this time as long as the conditions still feel good. Why are there people over here walking on the train tracks? I feel like we should investigate. Are they camping? Oh, they're probably rock climbing. We saw some rock climbers earlier. Oh, Tahala! Let's do something neat. Just cruising through a swarm of nets. I feel so lucky to be in the spot I am right now. Like, first off, just flying around and doing the van thing, that whole reality. But to be next to a cliff wall like this and have the winds be calm enough that this is, you know, relatively smooth air, that is ballistic. So tonight, we're camping on this little site here. Jack and I have skipped showers for like, tomorrow will be day three, I think. So I think we're gonna make it a priority to find somewhere to shower in the morning. And then I think we're gonna spend one more day in Moab. But after Moab, I really have no idea where we're going. If you guys have been paying attention, um, I've kind of put a couple like Easter eggs and a couple um, hints, but there's this big surprise coming up at the end of this trip. Dang, look at that road, if you can see it through the sun. It just winds into that freaking canyon. So the very last 
I'll say the last five days, there's another hint, uh, kind of, sort of, of our trip out west is going to be this big surprise thing. We have about a week starting today until this thing happens, and for this thing we have to be in a certain location. So we've got some time to just wander. I see the van mobile, the legendary van mobile. Check it out, Jacqueline set up our portable facilities. <laughs> they don't have bathrooms at this campground. Let's see where she's at. Buzz the fortress. There she is. Let's not hit my wing on the trailer. <laughs> Hey, it's a Mr. Steel. Freaking Pro Master Gang. Oh, is that our van's twin? No way! It's our van's twin. I think these guys are asking for me to buzz them, or they want to fight. venture this way a little bit if I can there's some like salt ponds or some weird looking ponds eh, they kind of look cooler on Google Maps <laughs> oh well it's right about sunset probably 15 more minutes till sunset I think I'm gonna come in land at the van mobile quit while we're ahead Huge shout out to the new Patreons in the last video. I said we were at about 250 out of our 500 goal. Now we're at like 320 or something. So once we hit that goal, we're gonna print out or get like a vinyl cut decal, put all your guys' names somewhere on the van. It'll probably look like the freaking Declaration of Independence. <laughs> that would be funny if I put together everyone's names, but put it in like old school cursive so it looks like an, like an old document. So, we're gonna do a cool swoopy doop thing. Hopefully not break my ankle on the campfire rocks. All right, that seems about appropriate. Let's see. I don't think we can dial 911 out here. That was fast. <laughs> the freaking chase cam whacked me. So slight change in plans. I was gonna do the Corona Arch hike in the next video, but I felt like it kind of applies to this one so that we can see it on foot and in the air. So we're at the trailhead. We're gonna hike up and check out Corona Arch. Well, there she blows. Jacqueline, what do you think? the biggest arch I've ever seen. It's the only arch I've ever seen. We go to McDonald's like every week. <laughs> Check it out. There's an archy thing there. And over there, there's a tunnel archy thing that way. Pretty rad. Can someone please tell me what stacking rocks means? It's like making me uncomfortable. There was like a <laughs> field of stacked rocks at uh, the Valley of Fire, they said report that as vandalism. Mm -hmm. You know, it'd be crazy is if someone like had a paramotor and they just happened to be like flying and they just like went right through this. You think it'd fit? No. I don't think so either. What's a paramotor? <laughs> oh, 
tendonitis. <laughs> Hold my spleen. It's taco time. Well, that was Corona Arch from the air and from the ground. I like it better from the air, I think. But I'm gonna end this one here. We really don't know what we're doing. We're gonna go get tacos and catch up on editing, go to a coffee shop. We'll see where the adventure goes. We really don't know for the next couple days. So tune in, hit the subscribe button if you have not yet. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Jacqueline, do it, do it, do it. Thank <laughs> you.